Hi, um, my name is Max Hancock. I use he, him, his pronouns. Uh, I'm from the Annapolis region uh, of Maryland, but when I moved off to college, it was to Frostburg. I don't think I believe in American as an adjective because there's, there's a, I mean, <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but uh, there, there's a lot of people in this country and there's this huge spectrum of intent and just beliefs from every possible culture and every possible point of view. I think there's a, there's an assumption that American is going to be synonymous with patriotic, kind of wholesome, kind of, kind of meaty, like hamburgers in the 4th of July. But I don't think hamburgers even were invented in America, first of all. I know there's that saying, as American as apple pie. The first literary reference to apple pie was by Geoffrey Chaucer. So, like, I don't think it's a very good expression. But that's not really the point. I think people want to believe that America is symbolic of freedom and justice. But in reality, when you look at the history of America and the history of the movements that's, that have defined America, it's more of a country defined by underdog stories. America is a country of underdog stories, but they're not always the underdog that you want to succeed. We, we, love, we love a good underdog story. We love thinking, oh, this little guy rose up and became the best out of everyone else just by pulling himself up by his bootstraps. But um, sometimes the underdog is like super racist. Sometimes the underdog is a guy that I'm not comfortable walking past a statue of every day on my way to English class or whatever. So I would say that America is a concept in name only. When you really look at America, there's, there's a lot going on that you couldn't even begin to define in less than an essay. I think that diversity is really important to America. I think it's uh, one of the things that makes America so interesting culturally, but it's also one of the things that makes America so chaotic all the time. It seems like we have the weirdest political atmosphere at every, any given point. And it's because there's no such thing as being American.